Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. So tell me, al final arreglaron el problema? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Ese ejercicio sí que dio dolor de cabeza, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Ya, good evening. Tengo, ya tengo mis tareas completas porque solo eso me estaba pasando. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Good evening. All right. Los demás ya lo completaron también. ¿O no tenían problema en ese, en esa, en esa actividad, en ese, en ese, en esa oración? Sí. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Darwin. The sentence, the sentence number four is difficult because change uh, employees. Yes. But that, yeah, but that was but that was a mistake of the platform. Ese error fue de la plataforma. No fue de ustedes porque en las palabras que le da para completar la oración no aparece la palabra employees. Ah, aparece the staff. Uh -huh. The letter E. Is two words in the sentence. Oh, really? Only one. Only one. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> my goodness. Yes, I was a bit complicated. It was a little complicated, right? But you could solve it, Darwin. Pero pudiste resolverlo. You could solve it. Yes. Today. All right. Until today. <laughs> yes. All right. What about the others? Sky de los demás. What about the others? Could you solve the exercise? Lo pudieron resolver. Could you solve it? Yes, no? Yes. Angela said yes, right? Darwin said yes. Yes. Teacher. Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. Oh, nice. I, como diría, me sentía angustiada. Maybe, 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 um, Maybe you can say frustrated. I felt frustrated. 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 Yes. frustrated. Uh, era yeah. la segunda tarea y no pasaba y no pasaba y dije yo la voy a dejar y voy a seguir. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry about that. Lo siento mucho. I'm sorry about that. Teacher, una pregunta. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Um, este, si, eh, por ejemplo, en mi caso, a veces me está... Me cuesta hacer, en este caso, esa, esa, ese ejercicio. ¿Me puedo pasar a los siguientes ejercicios si no pasa nada? I think you can do it. Creo que sí pueden hacerlo. I think you can do it. Solo que le da clic al siguiente. Uh -huh. I But I think you can do it. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not sure, really. No sé no, los demás teacher. si lo han intentado. No, no se puede. Yes, teacher. Teacher. No, no funciona. Sí, sí lo corrige, pero cuando corrige el, el, el ejercicio que... Que le ha costado, los otros tienen que volverlos a hacer, se borra todo. You have to go one by one, deben ir uno a uno entonces. Yeah. Oh my God, I didn't know that, no. realmente no sabía eso, I didn't know that. No, me afirman porque yo no lo revisé. <laughs> go and yo check. Yo los terminé. Go and check then, Ángel. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> oye, oye. Pero yo, quizás se eh, da en algunas ocasiones porque sí, a veces me ha pasado, la, en el módulo pasado había otro también que había un error, ¿se acuerdan? Yes, I remember. Ajá, y, a, y así nos había quedado y yo completé, solo ahí tenía el porcentaje que no llegábamos al 100 por ese errorcito también. Yes, I remember. Recuerdo que todos llegamos a 96 cuando veía Exacto. los resultados. When I, when I checked the scores, I remember that. Yes. Okay, so um, so let's start then. Uh, it's uh, eight four already, so it's time to begin. So welcome everyone, bienvenidos todos. Welcome everyone, and okay, and well, let's start with the class. And first, uh, let's start with the attendance. So basically, today is the last day of the week, right? But of not not, not Friday. I mean, the last day of the week. I mean, uh, of the week of class. All right. And then tomorrow we continue with the second week of homework, okay? So tomorrow is day six. So tomorrow we continue with the second week, all right? So for next week, para la otra semana, la fecha límite de entrega de tareas sería, would be, correct me please, Tuesday, right? Sería martes. No, it would be Wednesday. 
Sería siempre Wednesday, I think. Wednesday, yeah, the same day. All right, so for you to keep it in mind, para que lo mantenga en mente, for you to keep it in mind. All right, let's start. Let me pass the attendance. Ada? Present. Adriana? Ana Michelle? Present. Very good. Angela? Present, teacher. Azalia? Present, good evening. Good evening. Darwin? Present, teacher. Very good. Flor? Gloria? Here. Excellent. Carla? Present. Ah, ya le había puesto a Carla en asistencia. <laughs> I'm sorry. Present. All right. Margarita? I'm here. Ay, Margarita, ya le había puesto también en asistencia, Margarita. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mayra? Present. Very good. Ah, rápido, right? Very quickly. <laughs> Antes de que me pongan asistencia. <laughs> sí. All right. Miguel? Present teacher. Very good. Nelson? Present teacher. Nelson? Okay, very good. How do you feel, Nelson? Uh, yes. Better. I am ready a little better. A little better. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Ophelia? Here, teacher. All right. Excellent. Osmin? Here, teacher. Good evening. Right. Good evening. Rafael? Rosa? Good evening, present. Good evening. Very good. Thank you. Sandra? Good evening, teacher. Present. Hello. Good evening. Jancy? Present. Very good. Good evening. Good evening. Sulma? Present. All right. That's very good. Er eh, Edwin? Ay, Edwin, solo un día se nos conectó y no volvió a conectarse. Ingrid? Lourdes? Present teacher. Excellent. Oscar? Present. Very good. And Susana? She's not here, right? Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, so let's start then uh, with uh, today's class. Uh, and in today's class, uh, basically today uh, we finish unit number one, okay? And tomorrow we start unit number two. So um, I remember yesterday uh, you practice a conversation, right? Yes, do you remember? Yesterday, did everyone practice? Todos salieron a tiempo de practicar, did everyone practice? No, not everybody. Not everybody. All right. So the conversation is basically um, this one. Okay, let me share. This is the conversation. So please listen once and then we go and practice the conversation only. Okay, we only practice the conversation. Okay, so listen once, please. What is your social security number? It's 34563245786529. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Monza. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hyper hypertension, all right? Good. Now, please, um, so this conversation is on page number uh, 15, all right? So I will give you like, yes? Eh, el guión no se pronuncia. No, no, it's not, no. no, no, it's not necessary. Okay. When you give numbers, is the, the, the hyphen is not necessary. You don't have to say like in cell phone numbers. You don't, you, you don't say the hyphen, all right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, so we will take like three minutes and in three minutes, please take some time to practice the conversation, okay? So let's go and practice quickly and then we continue with the next uh, activity. All right, so let's go to practice in pairs. So I repeat, uh, the conversation is on page uh, number 15, right? Page number uh, 15, all right. So then let's go to practice. Okay. 
Take turns practicing, please. Toman turnos para practicar. Take turns. And don't stop. No dejen de practicar. Don't stop. Repeat, repeat, and repeat. Do you have a, a book? Do you have a book? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, si quiere le comparto la, la página o ahí okay. tiene el link. Ah, okay. 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 You are Alan. Okay. Uh, what is your social security number? It's uh, 34, 56, 32, 45, uh, 7, 8, 6, 5, 4. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you, what did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 25 to 2011. <clears throat> do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay. Now? Uh, I am Alan. Okay. What is your What is your social security number? Eight three four five six three two four. I work in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. <clears throat> okay, change roles again. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm start. Yes. Yourself. What is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven a six five four. Okay. When were you born? I was born on July first. Okay. Where did you work? What is your social security number? It's no, it's <laughs> okay. It's uh, three four five six three two four five uh, seven eight six five four. When were you born? born? I was born. I was born in July. Okay, teacher. How? Um, Como se pronuncia, eh, I was born on July y el ST. I was born on July 1st. July 1st. First, okay, July 1st. You. Okay, first. thank you. Where did you work? Uh, I worked in Molsa. What did you do? What did you do there? I was uh, the evening manager when did you work there from 25 to 2011 do you have do you have a new a universe diploma yes i do i have a bba do you do you do you have any extraordinary medical condition? Yes, I do. I have 
hypertension. Okay. Yes. I am now. Tenemos tiempo. Yes. What is your social security? That's one suggestion. Hypertension. Yes. Hyper. High. Hyper, Hyper, hypertension. Hypertension. Okay. Hypertension. Yes. A diploma? Diploma? Diploma. Diploma. The diploma. same. Diploma. Diploma. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Well, what is what is special security number? It's three. Okay, everyone. Uh, well, I guess everybody practice, right? Now, uh, just one question quickly. Uh, what is BBA? BBA, any idea? It says, yes, I do. It, I have a BBA. What is BBA? BBA, it's yes. a bachelor degree. In what? Yeah. Ah. It's a bachelor. It's Hi. a bachelor. Bachelor in business. Oh, business. Ah, in business administration. business administration. Yes, exactly. It's a bachelor in business administration. Thank you, Oscar. Okay. So, what is bachelor in Spanish? How do you say bachelor in Spanish? Bachiller. Bachiller. Mm, or licenciatura. Sure? licenciatura. Bachelor. Yes. Uh -huh. Dep Depending the, the state in the United mm. States. Yeah, actually, in Puerto Rico is bachiller. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, in this case, if you say bachelor here, all right. So a bachelor is a university diploma. It's not a high school diploma, all right. So you say a bachelor. For example, mm -hmm. I can say in my case, I have a bachelor in English, right? So it's licenciatura or bachelor in business administration. In this case, all right. So we see it as a bachelor. It's like bachiller. Is I don't think it's the right the right intention of the word. Okay, so it's licenciatura. All right, so it's a university degree or a university diploma. All right, very good. Now uh, let's listen to some uh, participations here. Um, so, do we have any volunteers? Yes. We will. I yes. Agree. All right. Osmin and me. And Angela, okay, so we will listen to three pairs only, okay? So pair number one, Osmin and, Os Osmin and Angela, okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, what is your social se security number? It's oh, three, four, five, six, three, uh, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you work? I was born in July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Mulsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work what there? From 2021 to 2011. 11. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a bachelor in business administration. Do you have any clinic, chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hyper, hypertension. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Thank okay. you, Angela and, and Osmin. All right. So, uh, so if you do me the favor, everybody go to reactions and let's give them thumbs up. Okay. Go to reactions and let's give them thumbs up. Okay. Let's give them thumbs up. All right. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So uh, the pronunciation of the of the of the of the disease is hypertension, all right? Hypertension. 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 Exactly. Okay, thank you very much, Angela and Osmin. All right. So do we have another pair of volunteers? Do we have another? Sulma, oh, right? Sulma yeah. and Miguel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Miguel, you are with Sulma. Okay. Uh, your first or your first? You start, Miguel. Okay, excellent. What is your social security number? It's 3456324578.
When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. What did you work there? From 25 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a Bachelor of Business Administration. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. hypertension. Okay, yeah. It's okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Miguel and Zulma. So please, everybody, go to reactions and let's give them thumbs up. All right. Go to reactions and let's give them thumbs up. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Poquito, van a darle like a sus compañeros. So come on, go to, to reactions and let's give them a thumbs up as a way of saying congratulations, all right? Good work. This is important for your classmates. <laughs> all right. Uh, do we have another pair of volunteers? Thank you, Miguel and Zulma. Me, teacher. Oh, who said me? Ophelia. Sí. Ophelia and? Oscar. En Oscar, ok. What is your social name? Se Securi nombre. The microphone, Oscar. Oscar, the microphone. Okay. Oh, yeah. It three five six three two four five seven eight six five four I where where you wrong I was born on July once I where did you work I work at in Monza I why did you do that I I was the evening manager. I when did you work there? From twenty through five to twenty eleven. I do has university diploma. Yes, I do. I have a BBA. I do has any chronic medical condition. Yes, I do. I have I have hypertension. Finish. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So please, everyone, everyone, go to ah. Thank you very much. Go to reactions and let's give them thumbs up. All right. Please go to reactions and let's give them thumbs up. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Ah. Uh, so thank you for your participations. I would like to hear everyone, okay, with the conversation, but we have to go to the next activity, as always, okay? Good, so thank you for the ones who volunteer, okay, to, to share your conversation, thank you very much. And just remember, the pronunciation of the illness is hypertension, okay? Hypertension, BBA, Bachelor in Business Administration, all right? Yeah, and Bachelor is used for university diplomas, and Bachelor, <laughs> also means soltero okay that that's yes. another intention okay yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah in this case i think rosa was going to say that yeah i, I was thinking later. on the in, i was thinking on the movie bachelor party <laughs> yeah yeah it's true so bachelor okay, is yeah. also single uh -huh. yes okay yes yeah all right but but in this case oscar is not for high school all right so we don't use it for high school Para bachillerato usamos otro término. we use a different term okay for oscar Okay, very, and for everybody, right? Of course, okay? Very good, okay, thank you very much. Now let's go to the next activity. So listen, um, in the next activity, we have a form, okay? And let me show you the form. Uh, let me show you here. This form is on page number 16, okay? So this is basically a job application. Uh, frequently, when you apply for a job, when you apply for a job, sometimes you need or you have to fill up or fill out a job application, okay? So you put the date, you put the, the position applied for if it's a manager, a supervisor, uh, a plant manager, I don't know, your name, 
your address, your phone number, the sex, whether you are male or female, all right? Date of birth, uh, the social security number. Uh, if you have a driver's license, you say yes, right? If you have no driver's license, you say no, all right? Uh, and then we continue, okay? So in the next part, you have employment history, okay? It's like historial de trabajo, so, o donde ha trabajado, days, days of employment, a name of the company, right? So here you name the companies where you have worked, las compañías donde han trabajado and the dates, all right? La fechas. The address, the job title, if you were a manager, if you were a salesperson, if you were, I don't know, all right? Uh, the end of duties, all right? Aquí no hay mucho espacio para las tareas. Tal vez pueden poner una o dos. Maybe you can put one or two, all right? Check email or supervise personnel. Put only one, all right? Education. In the education, you will um, write the degree obtained. Maybe you can say a BBA or, I don't know, a high school diploma. Un diploma de bachillerato, you say high school diploma. Institution is a university or the high school and the date you started, right? Y la fecha que estudiaron eso, yeah? So this is personal, okay? So let's take some time, like 15 minutes and complete the job application, please, about you, all right? Complete the job application about you. It's on page number 16, all right? Page number 16. Si no han sacado la fotocopia de la paginita, háganlo en su, en su libreta. Do it on your notebook, okay? I will give you 15 minutes for this activity, okay? 15 minutes, 15 minutes for this activity. And when you finish, si terminan antes, ponen la manita levantada. Van a reacciones y ponen la manita levantada para ver quién va terminando. To see who is getting this done. This is a job application, remember. Of course, here you are using your imagination, right? Because uh, you are applying for a new job, supposedly, right? Supposedly, you are applying for a new job. Están aplicando para un nuevo trabajo. So here, you put the position applying for, okay? It's not a job you have in this moment. No, it's a job you're applying for. Es un trabajo al que están aplicando. It's a job you're applying for, okay? So you can put a different job if you want, okay? Not the job you have these days, all right?
teacher. Question. Yes, tell me. Um, social security number is uh, DUI or? Yes, you can put your, your ID, no problem. Yeah, because it's like difficult to find it in this moment, right? Yeah, you can put your ID, no problem. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Aunque hoy en día con el DUI se pasa consulta, ¿verdad? Directamente. ¿Cómo se maneja hoy? Yo tengo varios años de no... Yes. Ok. DUI. Ok. Para todo. Ok, perfecto. Y muy pronto la cartilla de vacunación. <laughs> yeah, coming soon. Coming soon.
Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Uh, on a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, how, how, how do you say I am self cow? I am? Is correct the pronunciation? I am, I am what? Self, I am self tau is the pronunciation. But what do you mean by tau? Uh, in, um, I am, yeah, exactly. I do not have title, I am self tau. But, but what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you want to say with that in Spanish? In Spanish, in Spanish, okay. Uh, no, no tengo título, soy autodidacta. Maybe you can say I am self uh, didactic or didactic. You can say self didactic or self didactic. I am self doubt. I see. Yeah. Self doubt. Mm, let, let me check. I, I don't know the word you are using really, but let me check. But, but I would yes. say self didactic or self didactic. Okay. But let me check. Okay. Oh, I, I know what you're saying. It's like um, self-taught. You say taught. Self-taught. Taught. 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 Okay. Okay. Taught. Thank you. Taught. taught. Yeah, self-taught. Self-taught, yes. Yeah. Or okay. self-educated, you can say. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, uh, so basically I gave you a little bit more than 15 minutes. Uh, do you need more time? Necesita más tiempo algunos? Do you need more time? Yes, no? Do you need more time? Yes? Yes. Okay, I'll give you two minutes only, okay? Two minutes to finish, all right? In two minutes. Two minutes. Um, two minutes, I'll yeah. Need a time. A little time. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, complete what you can, Sandra. Don't worry. Complete what you can. Complete lo que pueda. Okay. okay. Hasta donde okay. Complete okay. what you can. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, so uh, if you didn't finish, don't worry. It's okay, no problem, not a problem, all right? It's okay, don't worry. Now listen, um, the idea with this information is not to have it only on your notebook or on your photocopy, right? The idea is to share this information with your classmates, okay? Good. Now listen, uh, for, the, for the next activity, using this information, um, you will work in pairs, okay? You will work in pairs. So in, in your pairs, one participant is going to be the employer and the other participant is going to be the candidate for the position, all right? I repeat. So one person is the employer and the other person is the candidate for the job position. And when you finish, you switch roles. When you termine cambian roles, when you finish, you switch roles, okay? What is employer? What is employer? What does it mean? Empleador. Empleador. So one yeah. person is the, em the employer and the other person is the candidate for the position, okay? Let me give you one example. Let me give you one example. Imagine, imagine I practice with Rosa, okay? Just to give you one example. So please, Rosa, turn on your microphone. So now Rosa is okay. in the office and Rosa is having the job interview with me. So, and I asked Rosa, okay, Rosa, uh, what position are you applying for? And I say logistics manager. All right. So listen to my question. What position are you applying for? Okay. And I continue. What's your name? Rosalena Salgado. And what's your address? Organización de Gloria, Mexicanos. All right. Very good. And what's your phone number? Seven eight three three zero nine two one. Okay. So, um, are you male or female? <laughs> I'm female. Female, very good. Uh, what's, what's, mayormente para las preguntas para todas casi van a usar, para casi para todas van a usar what's, okay? What's your date of birth? Uh, uh, August 5, 1960. Five? All right. Oh, Nine. okay. August. And it doesn't matter the, the, the month or the, or the date. No, it does. Five, because... August, 5 August uh, and the year 1970. 1970, very good. Okay, you can say August, okay? August 5th, 1970, okay? Ah, okay, 5th, 5th. Uh -huh. So if first you say the month, uh, the date, then and the, the date. year. Ah, the date the and year. the year. Ah, okay. Month, ah, okay. date, and year. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Uh, what's okay. your social security number, Rosa? Uh, 890704084. Very good. Uh, do you listen to the question here? Do you have a driver's license? No, I don't. Okay, so listen to the question here. Do you have, do you have a driver's license, right? Good, let's continue. And what's your employment history? Uh, the first Her date. Uh -huh. First, uh, maybe you can say the name of the company, uh -huh. okay? I work. Oh. Oh, okay, I work in Didea. In, oh. in 1993 to 2002. Okay. Uh, the address, uh, the company is in Boulevard Los Héroes. Yes. And uh, my job title uh, was inventory analyst. Yeah. And one of the, my duty was uh, reservation of vehicles new. Okay, very good. And uh, what's your education? Oh, my, um, I was graduate uh, from Bachelor Academic from the New Liceo Santo Americano in 1986 from 1988. Okay, very good. Then, then I, I graduated from the Universidad Tecnológica, like a business administration, in 1995 uh, to 2002. Excellent. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. You are hired. Okay. You are okay. hired. Está, okay. contra está contratada. You are hired. <laughs> I want for four thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! No, you are not hired. You are not hired. All okay. right, very good. So, uh, listen to the questions again. So here, the question is: What position are you applying for? What position are you applying for? Okay. What's your name? What's your address? 
What's your phone number? Are you male or female? Are you male or female? That's the question, okay? What's your date of birth? What's your social security number? Do you have a driver's license? Do you have? What's your employment history? And what's your education? All right. Yeah, so please only listen to your classmates, all right? So I, I, right, asked, I, I asked Rosa, right? But imagine in this moment, I am in the breakout room with Rosa. So if I ask Rosa, second, we switch roles. And then Rosa asks me, all right? Rosa takes the role of employer and I take the role of the candidate for the job position, all right? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Clear or do you have any questions? Clear. Clear. All right, let's go to practice. Uh, so this will be in pairs. I just have some questions. Uh, Jancy, vas a participar en actividad? Para hacer las parejas, para definir las parejas, yes? Yes. Yes, right. Ofelia, Gloria? Teacher. Yes, Ophelia? Yes, teacher. Ok, where is... Ophelia va a participar, sí? Sí, teacher. Ah, perdón, Ophelia, es que, es que está conectada con dos dispositivos y estaba viendo el de abajo. I'm sorry. Ok. Perdón. Rafael? Yes, teacher. All right. Um, I think Ingrid is busy right now. Ok, very good. So basically I have now 18 participants. So we have nine pairs, nueve parejas, nine pairs. All right, let's go to practice. Okay, let me make the pairs quickly. Oh no, I have 25, sorry. So that means I have to make 12 pairs, okay? 12 pairs. Okay. Okay, let's go to practice. Oscar, did you receive the invitation to join the breakout room? No, okay, let me send you then. Let me send you to a, to a group. I will send you to room five. Okay, I will send Jancy too. Parece que no la recibí, Jancy. Es que me salió de la sesión, me sacó de la sesión y he vuelto a entrar. Okay, I will send you to eight. Okay, let me send you to room eight. Okay, there you go. Sí. Ajá, teacher, nos había dejado solos. I'm sí, sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah, the problem is that... No uh, estoy en ese estilo. Mm. <laughs> ¿Qué pasa? Yes, the thing is that uh, Miguel, uh, the person who is with you is not uh, working in this moment, okay? And I think yeah. Osmin is alone too. Let me visit Osmin. And Azalia was alone, okay? That's why I sent Azalia with you, okay? So please practice. Okay, thank you. All right, all right. Eh, Azalia. Oh my God, Osmin, you have no pair. <laughs> yes, please. Let me look for a group for you. Don't worry. Yeah. Ahorita. The thing is that mm, the thing is that some people were supposed to be working and they are not. Okay, let me check. Yeah. I will send you to a group of three. Aquí Ophelia no entró, creo yo. I think Ophelia didn't enter. Let me check quickly. Victoria, yeah. Margarita, Susana, Darwin, Nelson, Carla. Yeah. Ophelia didn't enter. That was the problem. Okay, let okay. me send you to a group. So you will go to a group of, to a pair. So you will be three. Van a practicar en trillos, okay? Three. You practice okay. Yeah. So you listen and then the others listen to you, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay.
a contact, a contact. And duties is balances cheat, taxes, and journal items. Okay. Um, what your education? Um, I refer education is um, high school in the Escuela Nacional de Comercio from, from 19. 19, 19, 19, 19, ¿Cómo dijo el teacher de contratar? <risa> uh, era este, you, ok, you're high, high. Okay. <risa> you're high. Ok, ahora en you. Ok. Question. Question. What is, what day is? Uh, it's August. 25 and 20, 22. Así es, ¿verdad? O 221. 21st or 22nd? 20, 21st and 21, para fechas. 21st, ah, en este 20, caso. And 22, 20, 22nd. 20. Or, or you are saying the years, Ada, o está, está diciendo los años. De, no, o la fecha. Ah, ok. Eh, sería Day. 25. 25. Eh, para decir agosto. 20, 25. En agosto. 2021. Ya. 2021. Ya, es ok. 2021. 2021. ¿Qué posición aplica por? Recepcionista. What's your name? Um, Ada Patricia Linares Caldanos. What's your address? Uh, my address is Condominio Residencial San Luis, Pasaje 4, Block C, Apartamento 15, San Salvador. Okay. What's your phone number? My phone number is 7898848. For two, three, seven. And sex may or per, family? Pa family. Um, bueno. What, uh, what position apply for? Uh, the office manager. Uh, okay. Perfect. Uh, what is your name? My name is Gloria Linares. Okay. Um, what is your phone number? Uh, my number phone is 7886-3513. Okay. Um, what is your birthday? Um, it's my birthday is um, July of uh, 1962. Okay. Uh, what is your social security number? <laughs> okay. Um, do you have a driver license? Yes. Okay. Um, tell me about your history employment, please. Okay. Um, I I work in um, in Lee. Uh, uh, this is twenty twenty uh, twenty eight. 
Ok. La fecha eh, in San Salvador. Ok. Eh, my job is uh, assistant, assistant manager. And okay. my job is um, uh, take a work agenda of the manager, support okay. general administration of the company. Okay. Uh, uh, en ONG Geólogos del Mundo, en San Salvador, asistente okay. administrativa. Administ Ahí, ¿cómo podría ser? Asistente administrativa sería. Eh, admin administrative assistant. Ah, algo así. Es correcto. <laughs> Administrative okay. assistant. Yeah, it's okay. okay. It's okay, Lourdes. Administrative okay. assistant. Okay. Okay. Assistant. Thank you. Okay. okay. <laughs> I am um, general administration of the office. Okay. Agent analyst. I was my. Was Nays. What is your name? Mm -hmm. name? My name is Zulma Lopez. What's I dress? Eh, Santa Tecla La Libertad. Okay. What's her phone? My phone number is seven eight nine six Five, five. I was sexy. Female. Okay. What that awful day? Uh, my day of birth is uh, 26 October 1996. Okay. What's the event? Uh, I, I was given a cleansing. Ah, uh, no. Okay. What does of employee? Um, I work for Banco Azul. And my job position was project analyst. Okay. Bueno, vamos. Ay, gracias, Ofelia. Gracias, Alma. Okay, uh, so thank you very much uh, for taking the time to share your information, okay, about the, about a job application, all right? So this is, I feel this is very important information, right? Okay, so thank you very much for sharing. I guess everybody finished, right? I hope, all right, I hope. Uh, just before I pass the attendance, solo antes de pasar asistencia por segunda vez, eh, solo quiero preguntar algunos nombres y quiero ver si esas personas están acá. Ok, um, Adriana, ¿está conectada? Sí, teacher. ¿Flor? ¿Flor está conectada? ¿No? Bueno, Ingrid está conectada, pero no sé si nos está escuchando en ese momento. ¿Ingrid? Sí, sí teacher. Ok, le voy a proveer una información, tal vez se escucha rápido. Ok, a los que estoy mencionando, Rafael... Pero me voy a poner, espérame, me voy a poner, okay. el, 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 okay. la reunión. Y Zulma. Ya, ya. Sí, ya. ¿verdad? Zulma, eh, no me han terminado el trabajo de la plataforma. I'm sorry to tell you directly. Lo siento por decir uh -huh. directamente acá, pero quiero que le, les... Eh, tenemos, teníamos hasta fecha límite este día, ¿verdad? Antes de la sesión. Eh, Yo la entonces, terminé. ¿Quién terminó? Who finished? Yo, Zulma. Yo, Zulma. No sé si oh. podría validar. 
¿Ahorita, sí. ahorita terminaste, Zulma? En la tarde. Mm, es que estaba revisando y no me aparece. Y no, 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 no me, bueno, sí terminaste, pero me aparece una nota bien baja. Entonces aquí tengo incluido los mm. que tienen una nota bien baja también. No sé si esa es la razón o aparecía una nota alta en el resultado final. Sí, 10 y 10. Ok, voy a... Eh, bueno, me escribes tal vez al final, voy a revisar otra vez despuesito, ¿ok? Eh, De acuerdo. ¿Quién más me decía ahí, teacher? Mi teacher. Sí, Ángela. Ya, me entró la duda con lo que dijo el compañero, que como la tarea 2 no la completamos hasta ahora en la tarde, ya al fin... Eh, pero ya había hecho la siguiente y él dijo que se, como que, como vaya, que a, tenía que volverse a hacer. Vaya, voy a revisar ahorita. Ángela, ¿verdad? Por, yes. ¿Cuánto era el resultado que tenía en la, tar en la tarea de la semana 1? ¿100? Sí, eh, pero no, la semana 1 no, porque como le, la, en el día 2, los ejercicios esos que nos dieron problemas el 4 y 5 hasta hoy en la tarde los sí. No, pero con, con, con usted no hay ningún problema, Ángela. Tiene 100% en las tareas okay. de la... Aquí, no hay ningún problema. Vaya, okay. Con lo que mencioné, el problema es que tal vez tienen una nota, tal vez no la requerida, tienen 40%. Tal vez que no han terminado la tarea o, o, o no sé si es que no les ha validado. ¿Me podrían revisar, por favor? Eh, bueno, en el caso de Adriana y Flor no están conectadas, ¿verdad? Les voy a mandar un mensaje directamente. Zulma me dice que sí, ya lo terminó. Hay que revisar otra vez a ver si validó Zulma, por favor. Teacher, yo me parece que 40 de 100%, teacher. Ah, ok, ya voy a, ya voy a actualizar entonces. Este, me manda ahí la captura, por cualquier cosa. Sí. Ajá, claro. este, Rafael. Teacher. Ahorita, Rafael. Rafa. Sí, teacher, eh, ahora lo mando. Ah, ok, perfecto, perfecto. Es que, eh, es que estaba acostumbrado a hacerlo los viernes. Sí, sí, yo los entiendo, eh, es un cambio totalmente, entiendo esa parte, entiendo. Igual, si no lo, ha comple si no lo han completado ahorita, eh, voy a darles unos 10 minutos después de terminar la clase para después eh, poder, unos 20 minutos, ok, como a las 10 y media voy a estar subiendo las notas porque me las piden, el detalle es que a mí me las piden mañana, más tardar a las 8 de la mañana, y en la mañana yo viajo, entonces es imposible ir actualizando notas. Y en el teléfono no puedo hacerlo. Tengo que hacerlo desde mi, desde mi computadora, ¿ok? Así que por esa razón es que yo se los exijo de esta manera también. Pero sí entiendo la parte de que ahora no le están completando los viernes, sino que es miércoles, es entre semana y no estamos acostumbrados a eso, ¿ok? Así que me hacen el favor. Les voy a dar hasta las diez y media para poder actualizar a las diez y media, los que aún no han terminado. Eh, Adriana, ¿ibas a decir algo? ¿Ibas a decir algo? Ah, sí, es, no, que aquí estaba conectada y que sí le había escuchado la observación que me hacían falta terminar las tareas. Eh, sí, sí, sí. Ajá, uh -huh. eso. Ok, ponerse al día hasta las diez y media, hoy. Sí, sí. Ok, por favor. Eh, bueno, Ingrid. Y esa cuestión. Eh, eh, yo la, o sea, tendremos, tendremos que eh, terminar las, la primera semana, ¿verdad? Correctamente, la primera eh, semana. Y el segundo el segundo día no lo, no lo he hecho porque, o sea, como yo no estuve en esa clase eh, ese día y yo la, lo siento muy complicado ahorita. Entonces, como es para, eh, es de organizar las, las oraciones. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso he terminado, pero sí. voy a tratar de entenderle ahorita. En esa actividad incluso hasta los que tuvieron en clase como que tuvieron bastante problemas en una oración. Así que eh, si gustas, no, Ingrid, sí. al final también me puedes escribir. Ok, tal vez lo, lo podemos, podemos ver si te apoyo. Okay. Alrededor de las 10, 10, 10 y 15, okay, okay. cuando terminemos la clase, ok. Ok, muy okay, bien. Ok, okay solo you. me falta Flor entonces, ¿verdad? Que no está conectada. Bueno, le voy a escribir a Flor directamente. Ok, thank you very much. Y algunos, uh, aquí solo saqué a los que tienen menos de 80, pero algunos, uh, hay como tres que tienen 80. Están cabal, al, digamos, como raspaditos, como decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? La idea no es que nos quedemos raspaditos. Eh, ¿Perdón? I have 80, I have 80 because I don't, I don't understand the homework too. Ok, igual, eh, es en la que tuvimos problemas la mayoría, creo yo, ¿verdad? Eh, podemos... Yes. Eh, the number four. Yes. Y la number four. Es la número cuatro del ejercicio dos, ¿verdad? La, la, la oración número cuatro. Okay. Ok, bien, 
pero ahí se las compartí al grupo de esa oración. Al final se las compartí porque vi que sí. muchos problemas habían tenido. Ahí se las mandé al grupo de WhatsApp. Exacto. Eso le iba a decir, teacher, que yo logré hacerlo porque lo compartieron en el grupo. Me costó un poquito, pero al final lo logré hacer. Ok. Sí, tal vez podemos revisar el grupo, Susana. La, la oración que estaba difícil, ahí se las compartí en el grupo. Sí, a mí me gustaría igual. Yo quería revisar la clase porque realmente no me queda claro todo ese tema. O sea, sí me he confundido con todas y todas me salieron malas. Ah, ok. Entonces, Entonces no, no creo que tampoco es que voy a copiar la respuesta para que me quede bien y no entender. No, 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 pero al final, igual, al final yo voy a, voy a estar atendiendo a Ingrid a través de WhatsApp para, poder, para ver qué podemos hacer. De igual manera, si, si, si gusta, me escribe también y podemos ver qué hacemos. Está bien, gracias. Bien. Para que no les quede 80, porque la idea es que pasen con 100, todo, no con 80, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. Ok, uh, well, let me pass the attendance quickly. Le voy a pasar asistencia rápidamente, entonces. Let me pass the attendance quickly. Ada? Present. Adriana? Present. Ana Michelle? Present. Ángela? Present. Azalia? Present. Darwin? Present. Teacher. Flor? Gloria? Here. All right. Carla? Present. Margarita? Present. Very good. Mayra? Present. Miguel? Present teacher. All right. Thank you. Nelson? Present, Present teacher. Very Present. good. Excellent. Ophelia? Teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Rafael. Present. Very good. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Present teacher. Uh, Jancy. Present. Zulma. Present. Elwin. Ingrid. Lourdes? Present. Oscar? Oscar? Present. Present. En Susana, en Susana. Present teacher. Ok, muy bien. Eh, bueno, solo antes de ir a la actividad siguiente, siempre hacer el recordatorio de que se requiere un 80%, ahorita aprovechando que están 25, solo me faltan dos, creo yo. Eh, en, eh, para la asistencia, siempre, siempre para cada módulo se requiere un mínimo de 80%, ¿ok? Eso quiere decir que si usted me falta dos sesiones, ya no tiene derecho a faltar ninguna sesión, ¿ok? Así que si usted ya me faltó dos sesiones, ya no tiene derecho a faltar ninguna sesión, ¿ok? Así que cuidemos mucho los días. No faltemos solo por faltar, como decimos, ¿ok? Yo sé que algunos a veces tienen alguna emergencia. Si tienen alguna reunión de trabajo lo que pueden hacer es mantenerse conectado. Ojo, pero esto no es, no es todos los días, ¿ok? Esto es si tienen una reunión de trabajo que tal vez es una en el módulo, ¿ok? De ser posible, ¿verdad? Eh, por lo tanto, eh, sugiero que siempre estén conectados, que hagamos buen uso de los días que, que tenemos de esos dos días, porque se puede dar el caso retroalimento, porque eso es importante. Se puede dar el caso de que al final necesitemos esos dos días, pero ¿qué pasa si los tomamos al principio? ¿Verdad? Que caemos en un problema, entonces cuidemos los días, cuidemos esos días y por supuesto que como yo le repito y como yo sé que son buenos estudiantes no van a estar todo, todo, todas las clases y al final, ah, pero yo tengo dos días, voy a relajar esos dos últimos días no, ¿verdad? yo sé que tienen el derecho pero no es, o sea siempre, siempre que faltan a veces un día pierden el hilo de las clases y si se conectan después vienen un poquito perdidos, con una clase que sea incluso aunque la lean, a veces vienen un poquito perdidos. Así que la idea es que estemos conectados al 100%, ¿ok? Y en caso que tiene, tenga alguna emergencia, claro, ahí no es, no, no, no es discutible. Una emergencia es una emergencia, ¿verdad? Pero si no se le presenta en, el, en, la, en la primera semana, en la segunda semana, en la tercera semana esa emergencia, no tomen días, ¿ok? Porque que sabemos en, en, la, en la cuarta semana se les presenta una emergencia. Y ya tomaron los dos días, entonces, ahí sería problema, ¿ok? Así que, ojo con los que ya me faltaron dos sesiones. Tengo varios que ya me faltaron dos sesiones. Imagínense, ya es primera semana. Así que cuidemos bastante esos días, ¿ok? Cuidemos bastante esos dos días que tenemos. 
Okay, very good. So, um, so going back to the class, uh, let's go to the next activity. And in the next activity, we have a reading, okay? And with this reading, with this reading, we are going to do two activities, okay? One activity is about pronunciation and one activity is about vocabulary, speaking, okay, vocabulary, speaking, and speaking twice, all right? Speaking, speaking, and vocabulary, all right? So, but the first activity is about pronunciation. So listen, I will pronounce the article for you. Listen carefully and pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Because in a moment, you will do it. In un momento lo harán ustedes. In a moment, you will do it. Okay, let me display the, the article here. So the article is on page number 17, okay? These are some requirements for a perfect manager. So you want, in case you want to become a manager, pay attention here. So pay attention to pronunciation. Let's start. Empecemos. Number one. So the topic, five requirements of the perfect manager. Okay, let's start with requirement number one. Be a people person. Northside is people and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial team. Number two, be a good communicator. Okay, let me scroll down. Number two, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentations, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customers and provide status information when asked. Requirement number three, be technically proficient. The products we create at Northside are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C number, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no, having watched Happy Feet or The March of the Penguins does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. Requirement number four, encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at Northside. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at Northside for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Requirement number five, lead by example. The best managers lead by example at Northside. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be available to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Okay, very good. So this uh, reading is on page number 17, okay? So this reading is on page number 17, okay? So please, in this moment, let's go to breakout rooms and take turns, okay? Uh, imagine uh, I practice with Oscar. So I say requirement number one, Oscar says or pronounces requirement number two. I go with requirement number three. He does requirement number four. 
I do requirement number five, and now, and then the second time we switch. Y la segunda vez, la persona que empezó se queda de segundo, okay? Yeah, so we switch roles. Yes. Do you have any question? So this is about pronunciation. Don't say, oh, I finished. I will do something different with this reading, no. This activity is about pronunciation only. No se pongan a contestar las preguntas de la lectura, no. It's pronunciation, all right? Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, yeah. perfect. So please, um, but what do you prefer? To do it in pairs or in groups of three? Let's negotiate. Mm -hmm. Pairs? Mm -hmm. Pairs? Mm -hmm. Pairs? Mm -hmm. Pairs. 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 First. All right, so you have more chances to, to pronounce. Okay, very good. So let's work in pairs then. Okay, Rafael, are you going to work in the activity? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. I, I ask you because your camera is off and I don't know, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's go then to work in pairs. Ready? Steady? Let's go. Nelson? No, no, uh, the... <laughs> yo creo que el teacher viene ahí. No, the problem. Super, Angela, super Angela, nice. Angela was alone and she needed someone to practice with her. So I, I said, Asalia is a good person to practice with Angela. All right. So that's why you're here. Yes, teacher is, is my friend, Angie. You yes. see? Yes. Nice. Yes. Okay. I think I have. No me no <laughs> I me siento feliz como diría. I feeling too happy. I am I feel, happy. I am happy. I, mm -hmm. I am happy. Yeah. For Asali. <laughs> 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 okay. Eh, compartiré la pantalla, compañera. Okay. Hi. Yes. Mm. Me escucho. Sí, sí, verdad. Ok. Uh, you start. Yes. Ok. You and me. Yes. <laughs> yes. And me. Yes, yes. Ok. Number one. Be a people person. Okay. Norset is people and we are looking for managers, polite people. You should be comforted with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate, motivate your team. If you are better with computers, that can people and understand Klingon teacher, Klingon, Klingon, better 
than English. You are not a good fit for all manage, managerial team. Uh, the second, number two, be a good communicator, teacher. Yes. Communicator. Yes. Communicator. Yeah. You should be able to communicate effectively, effectively. Effectively. Using, using all me, methods. Me tools. Me tools. Me tools. Including visual pres, pres, presentation. 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 Public speaking. It may teleconferencing and face to face. Good uh, communication is a two way street. Yes. And you will be required to run required routine. Como se pronuncia ahí, teacher? Routine. Routinely. 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 Update your employees on the in the team perform, performance. Performance. You will communicate any feedback from on per manage, management. Managerial. Excuse me. In which part are you? In qué parte está? You will communicate uh, any feedback. Feedback from ah, okay. upper, upper. Up, upper, upper, upper 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 manage management. Yes. Yes. Sure. Feedback management, from upper management. Management and customer and provide the status information when asked. Compañera. Be technically proficient. The products we create at Northside North North not only are you required, required to encourage the best practice for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have do we have no doors at Noxar Norsa for you to hide begging. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to say to cite and work wait wait your staff. Sit. En el, en el three. Number five, you. Ah. Es que <laughs> nunca, le, nunca le encontré. Es que era el nom, número tres. Number three. Yo, por, empecé, por eso es que yo tratando de, de yo no, y dónde está leyendo. Y... <laughs> you can do number three, Angela. Ok, ok. Be, be technically prefacing. The product we create, create at North North of are technic, technically 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 complicated. Complicated. You don't need to be able to call in the bar. You should be able to give technical guidance. 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 guidance, guidance, and decide the best strategies, 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 and men, menful. <laughs> no. Methods. 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 <laughs> Methods. Methods for success, and not having watched happy feet or the mer merch of the. Penguins, penguins or penguins? Penguins, penguins. Penguins does not qualify, qualify you as qualify, qualify. 
qualify you, qualify you as technically proficient in the li Linux. Linux. Linux? In okay. Linux. Linux. In Linux. Number four. Uh, number five. <laughs> four. <laughs> uh, bueno, in, in forest teamwork. Teamwork is, is important at no, no, no side. In act profession. Professionally. No sacó. No, no, estamos. Oh, oh. El teacher entró. Ah, ok. Go ahead. Sorry. And act professionally. All at all times and to be available to give guidance and help when needed. Living by example means working late and on weekends with your employees parking with your employees and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Okay. Okay, ten, tengo, I have questions, questions. for a, a specific words. Teacher? The meaning, uh, for example, teacher Norsal what is the meaning? In which line? In North be a is, people's is person? The, is, is the name of the... Of the company. Of the company, okay. Yes. Ah. North <laughs> is the name of the company. Ah, okay, okay. And the other teacher is... Quiero mm, ver... Managerial es como... Mandatorio. No. Gestión. Gestión. Yeah, man, managerial team is like el equipo de gestión o de dirección or, I don't know, uh, mm. gerencial, el equipo de gerencia. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Managerial. Mm -hmm. Okay. He comes from manager. Viene de la palabra is, manager. Managerial. Okay. <coughs> what is the meaning of pontif pontificating? Mm -hmm. Where is it? ¿Dónde está? Where is it? Is, is In the, the, last, last, the last, last paragraph. In the last paragraph. Let me let me check. Uh -huh. let, let me check in a minute. What word is it? Can you can you put the pointer? Ah yeah, I, I see. Let me I think I have the because it's new for me too. I think I have the definition here. Okay. Uh it's <clears> basically <throat> um like dark cathedra, like to be redundant. Como hablar demasiado. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like be a people, be a people of action instead of speaking too much. So pontificate is like speak too much and not acting. Ah, that que solo se habla, pero no, no se actúa. Exactly, exactly. That is the idea, the idea of pontificate. Mm, okay. Um, yes. Okay. Um, the other. The other? Uh, hold on, hold on. Right okay. now, don't pay attention to vocabulary. We have an activity about vocabulary in a moment, okay? okay. So don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Right uh, now, it's only pronunciation, okay? Okay. I, I continue. Okay. Uh, one. Be a people person. Northside is people and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how. Are considered a part of thing. We have no doors at Northside. For you to hide behind, in fact, we have no traditional office space for manager. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Okay, number five. Let be example. The best manager let be example are noxal. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at our time and, and to be available to give guys and help when need, needed. Living beat example means working late on weekend with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same washroom as your employees. It's also about doing instance in pontificate and doing the right thing. Okay. We have time for another wrong 
try. Cuando lo ah. saque, dejan de hacerlo. It's okay, no problem. Ah, ah ok, ok. Yeah. Thank you. Ay. It's okay. back continue. It's okay, no problem. Continue. You have one minute. You have one minute. Okay. One minute. Uh, okay. Number one, be a people person. Nurser is people and we are looking for manager who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computer than people and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for our manager team. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using our method, including visual presentation, public speaking, mail, emails, teleconference, and face to face. Good communication is two way street. Okay, uh, just before we go uh, to the other activity, uh, who has the one on one session today? ¿Quién está en la sesión uno a uno hoy? Who has the one on one session today? Do you remember? ¿Recuerdan? Do you remember? Recuerda? No remember, teacher. No ah, remember. Ah, ya que no tomaron notas. Y ya le dije que tomaran notas. <laughs> yes, teacher. Me. Okay. Ah, it's you. Who me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's Asalia. So no time for good night today, Asalia, for you. No yes, time for teacher. good night. Ahora sí no hay time for good night. Lastimosamente <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, so let's go to the article quickly and we will check two things, okay? Uh, first, um, okay, let me go here. Uh, first, let's focus on, um, I have the article here. First, let's focus on some words which are new for you, okay? New vocabulary. So let's go to uh, part number one or requirement number one. What vocabulary is new for you? Here. Manager, managerial. Managerial, all right, let me highlight it and then we check together, okay? So the word managerial is new for you. Any other word? Klingon. Klingon. <laughs> Klingon, I don't know what this is. You will help me, all right? So start checking the dictionary, please. <laughs> Klingon, que no es el, el idioma de que se habla en Star Wars. Star Wars. No, I, it's the Star Wars. Ah, Star Trek, uh -huh. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Norsod is the company, all right? Norsod is the company. Okay, any other vocabulary in the first paragraph? Motive, motivate, motivate. 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 Okay, motivate. I will highlight and then we check. All right, any other? With, with is con, all right? Any other oh. word which is new for you? Fit, when you say you are not a good fit for. Yes, yes the, teacher. A fit, a good fit, okay? Yes, a good fit. Uh, you are not a good fit. Yes. Resolution. Excellent. Only that? Resolu resolution. A resolution. Uh, remember, here we are not paying attention to pronunciation. We are paying attention to new vocabulary, okay? Nuevo vocabulario, new vocabulary. Conflict resolution, I would say. Okay, any other? Only that. Only. Only that, okay. No, so, Norsod is the company. Okay, with, the meaning of with is con. Okay, with. with. Uh, conflict resolution is easy, I think, right? It's like Spanish. What is conflict resolution? Resolución de conflictos. Resolución de conflictos. Uh, what is motivate? Motivado. Motivar, motivar, motivar. Okay, motivate your team. Uh -huh. Motivar a tu equipo. Motivate. Klingon, Klingon. ¿Quién dijo que era Klingon? I don't know about this. It's a language, right? Yes. Es un idioma. Yes. ¿De dónde es la language? Where from? Star Trek. A movie. A ah, okay. Started. It's a movie. Ah, I, I don't watch movies. That's why I don't know. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, you are not a good fit. What is this? I don't know what is fit. Fit in, in, in Spanish is ajustar, but here we have to make sense of it. Tenemos que darle sentido. Mm. Un buen candidato, digamos. 
¿ok? Busquen fit, a ver si lo encuentran. Para vos hay candidato. ¿Ok? For our managerial. No buen... Como una buena opción. Una buena opción, exacto. No eres. No Andas, eres. No eres no una eres. buena opción. Ah, no eres una buena opción, fit. Opción. You are not a good fit. Uh -huh. You are not a good fit for our company. Uh -huh. Fit is like ajustar. Okay. But in this case, you can say opción. No te adaptas. No te adaptas. No te adaptas. No encajas. No encajas. No encajas. No cabes. Tú no eres. Tú no eres. No. Alguien decía por ahí. Tú no eres un buen ajuste. Ajuste, no, va, no, va. no, it sounds no, kind of weird. No, no, let's say uh, you are not a good op, you are not a good option. No eres una buena opción para for our managerial team para Liter nuestro equipo. Literal say ajuste. Nuestro equipo. Ajá, nuestro pero equipo. literalmente no, no va a tener sentido. A nuestro yeah. equipo. A nuestro equipo de directivos. De directivos o de gestión o I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. A la palabra managerial comes from the word manager. O from the manage, words manage, yeah. Ajá, manage, managerial, nuestro equipo de gestión, de gerencia, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, so let's go to uh, paragraph number two. Okay, what new vocabulary do you have in paragraph number two? Mm. Be a good communicator. Communicate. Sorry? Routinely. 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 Where is the word in which line? In which line? You will be required to routinely. You will be required to routinely. Uh -huh. Any other new vocabulary? Upper. 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 From upper management. In the first line, able. Able. Be able. I will be say able. be able to. It's together. Es una sola frase. Be able to. Be able. Okay. Be, be able, able to. It's one phrase. Mm -hmm. Teacher, effectively, effective. Okay, effectively. 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 Uh -huh. Effectively. All right. Any other? When you say two way street, it's a two way street. What is two way street? Two way street. No es un camino de dos vías. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, como como una expresión nada más algo como como otra. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Good communication is a two way street. Buena comunicación es un camino de dos vías. Okay. Okay. Uh, but but in a, not, not in a literal way, no de una forma eh, literal, sino de una forma figurada, ¿ok? Ok. Yeah, yeah. ok. Including is like, ok, including, uh, what else? Uh, methods to, pero ese método se fácil, métodos, right? The translation, ok? Yes. Um, ok, let's start. Ok, you should be able to. Uh, be able to sería... Um, Tú deberías ser capaz ser de. Capaz. Be able to is like ser capaz, ¿ok? Be able. Ser capaz. You should be able to ser capaz de. You should be able to communicate effectively. What is effectively? Efectivamente. Efectivamente, Efectivamente exactly. Methods? Efectivamente. Métodos. Métodos. Including. Incluyendo. Incluyendo. Incluyendo, like Spanish. Including visual presentations. Incluyendo presentaciones visuales. Two way street, dijimos que era un camino de dos vías, right? Uh -huh. Two way street. Routinely, routinely. Rutinariamente. Rutinariamente. Uh -huh. Rutinariamente, exactly. Rutinely. Periódicamente. Um, ah, periódicamente, regularmente, all right? Uh, feedback. Retroalimentación. 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 Yeah. Retroalimentación. Yeah. Of upper management. What is upper in this case? Mm. I don't know. Um, upper is mayúscula. Es superior. Ah, superior. Un nivel ajá, superior. Ajá, de, ajá, exact, de una gestión superior. Talking about positions, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá, una, una posición alta de alguien, ¿ok? Una posición alta. Ajá, una gestión uh -huh. alta, ajá. Coming from, sí, from upper positions, ¿ok? En customers and bla, bla, bla. Ok, very good. So let's go to paragraph number three. Be technically uh, proficient. North South. North South is the company. Okay. So it's a proper noun. Es un nombre propio. North South. Oh, okay. Yeah. Guidance. Technically. Technically. All right. Technically. All right. Technically. It's like thinking in Spanish here. Technically. It's like technically. Okay. Technically. 
Be able to, ahí tenemos la palabra otra vez. Be able to. Okay. Ser capaz de. Ser capaz de. Teacher profi, proficient. Así. Ah, proficient. Proficient. Ah, proficient. Proficient. Ah, that is new. Yeah, that is new totally. Okay, proficient. And what else? Guidance. Guidance. Yes. Guidance, all right. Yes. Guidance. We have guidance. Um, Happy feet over the march, march of the penguins. Happy feet is the movie. Is the movie yeah. Happy Feet? The March of the Penguins too. It's a, it's, it's, it's a movie, I think, too, or it's part mm -hmm. of the it's Happy a, Feet. It's a documental about penguins. That's right. Okay. Um, veo que miran bastante televisión por acá. Proficient. Yes. Proficient. <laughs> we have proficient. I, I mean, never, never. Um. Okay. <laughs> You never watch TV, or you never... <laughs> Proficient is like an expert. Uh, exactly. Uh, so let's start. Proficient is like competitive, okay? okay. Competente. Uh -huh. Be technically mm, proficient. Competente. Uh -huh. Competente. Okay, that's proficient. Okay? Yeah, I guess that's the best translation for that. Or maybe you can say capaz, apto, proficient, okay? So let's see technically. What is technically? Técnicamente. Técnicamente. Guidance to give guía. technical guidance. Guía. Una guía técnica. Technical guidance, right? Guía técnica. All right. Penguins is pinguinos. The animals, okay? Penguins. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Yeah. So, yeah, penguins is pinguinos, the animals. Let's go to paragraph number four. <clears throat> Encourage. Encourage, very good. That's new. Encourage, what else? Hide. Hide, okay, hide. Hide behind, all right? I would say hide behind because it's together. It's some phrasal verb. Uh, building teamwork, all right? Encourage, encourage. Encourage, encourage. We have encourage here uh -huh. on the first, on the title. In fact, okay. What else? Only that, right? Only that. Only that. All right. Good. Uh, so basically, encourage is like um, incentivar or motivar. Okay. Encourage teamwork. Motiva el trabajo en equipo. O incentiva el trabajo en equipo. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, building teamwork is like construye eh, trabajo en equipo. Okay? Building teamwork. And hide behind es ocultarse detrás de algo. Okay? Hide behind. Mm. Hide, hide. Hide, hide behind. Hide behind. All right? So ocultarse atrás de algo. Okay? Hide behind the, the wall, for example. Ocultarse atrás de, atrás de la pared. <laughs> In fact, it's dead. Yes, that's right. Exactly. When you hide behind, you don't you don't speak with people, right? No, no, no hablamos con las personas a veces, so we hide behind. All right. Very good. So let's go to the last one. Lead by example. So what new words do you have in lead by example? Lead. Sorry? Lead. 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 All right. Lead. Lead. Lead by. Lead by. Lead by example. All right. What else? Washroom. Washroom. I don't know the word washroom. Can you check with the meaning of the word washroom in your dictionaries, please? Baño. Baño. La... What do you have in washroom? Pontificating. Pontificating, exactly. Pontificating. That's new. Employees. Mm, in steel. In which line? In the final line. In the last in still, line. Instead of, of ah, pontificating. Instead of, instead of pontificating. Instead of. Okay, instead of pontificating. Okay, very good. Only that? Okay, a uh, lead is basically liderar or guiar. Okay? Mm. So, but, yeah. but the phrase lead by example, I would say predica con el ejemplo, lead by example. Mm -hmm. Uh, is the best translation, like for the phrase. 
lead by example. Lead by example. Only. Lidera con el ejemplo. Predica sí. con el ejemplo, decimos nosotros, right? Okay, practice yes. what you preach. Very good. A uh, washroom, ¿qué encontraron en washroom? Baño. Baño, all right, very good. So it's like bathroom, good. Employees? Empleados. Yes. Empleados. Okay, here, instead of, es en vez de. It's all about doing, instead of, en vez de. Pontificating is like the action of being redundant. It's like not acting, just speaking, all right? If you pontificate, that means that you speak too much and you don't act, okay? Hablan mucho y actúan poco. So pontificate, all right? That's pontificate. Yeah. Guidance. Guidance, guidance is guía. Guidance. guidance is guía. Okay. The same, okay? So, Give guidance uh, mm -hmm, and help. Mm -hmm. Guía y ayuda, ok. Ok. So, Provee guía. Es... Available is disponible, right? Be available, all right? Available. Be available, that's right. Ok, very good. Now, according to the article, ok, let's see, help me please. It is more important to manage systems than people. Is this true or false? False. False, that's right. False. The most important is to manage or to work with people. Okay. Excellent. Number two, to be a great communicator, okay, para ser un gran comunicador, to be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. Debes true. usar tantas herramientas como sea posible. True or false? True. True. True, true. that's true. right, true. Okay, let's see number three. In order to be technically proficient, if you want to be proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. So giving your opinion is okay. That's enough. Eso es suficiente. No. False. No. It's no. False. False. False, false. False, right? It's false. Number four. Encouraging or motivating teamwork is as important as being part of the team. So it means encouraging true. and being part of the team is true. important. True. Right? True. 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 So the two things are important. Okay, encouraging teamwork and being part of the team is important too, according to the article. And number five, if you are a manager, in case you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. Puedes saltarte el trabajo false. y tener los fines de semana libres. False, right? False. False is false. All right, very good. Thank you very much. So let me pass the attendance quickly. Voy a pasar asistencia rápido y vamos a tratar de empezar una última actividad, ¿ok? Ada. Present. Adriana. Present. Ok, no se me vayan a ir. Don't leave, please. It's not time yet. Todavía no es hora. It's not time yet. Uh, Ana Michelle. Present. Ángela. Present, teacher. Very good. Azalia. Present teacher. Okay, Darby. Present teacher. Flor is not here, right? Gloria. Here. Carla. Present teacher. Very good. Margarita. Present. Okay. Mayra. Present. Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson. Present teacher. Ophelia. Here, teacher. All right. Osmi. Here, teacher. Okay. Rafael. Present. Rosa. Present. Yancy. Present. Sandra. Present. Present, Zulma. teacher. Okay. Zulma. Zulma. Hello. Here. Okay, very Here. good. Okay, Elvin. Ingrid. Today is present. Okay, okay, okay. Oscar. Present. Lourdes. Present. And Susana. Present. Very good, excellent. Ahora tiene mucho vocabulario para practicar. You have a lot of vocabulary to practice, okay? Okay, excellent. So the last activity, we have four minutes. So let's, let's get started. Al menos empecemos la ahorita para que la terminen luego yo les voy a indicar qué van a hacer, okay? So listen, uh, in the last activity is, is writing. Esta es actividad de writing, okay? Um, here, um, 
write a seven line paragraph about your work experience and personal information. Ok, usando información de la unidad, using information from the unit, escriban un párrafo de siete líneas acerca de su experiencia y, y de su información personal. About your personal experience, about your experience, okay, personal information. Puede ser estudios en jobs, ok. Ya. Yeah. Y la idea es que usen expresiones tales como since, then, las expresiones que estudiamos, the expressions we studied, ok. Since, then, um, que otra long, all right. So let's start. Empecemos, let's start. This is on page number 18, ok. Página 18, page number 18. Esta actividad se la voy a dejar en el foro de discusión para que agreguen lo que han escrito. Okay, so you have what you have written. Vamos a trabajar hasta las 10 y 3 en esta actividad, ok, until 10 free. Solo le voy a quitar 3 minutos. Okay, this is simple. I will take three minutes from your time, okay? Para que Asalia se quede hasta las 10 y 20 en la sesión 1 a 1. Oh, 10 y media, sorry. Ya no la va a tener la sesión. Mi exit. <laughs> Congratulations, Asalia. Asalia is the lucky one, Sara. Vamos a llegar a las 3 y 20 y ella no va a tener sesión. Ya no Vamos a llegar. That, teacher. Podemos llegar a las 10 y 20 ahorita con la clase y ya sale a que se quede hasta las 11. Se va a uno a uno. <risa> It's great student. Yeah, she's a great student. Se va a quedar hasta las 11. She's a good student. Thank you, good night, teacher. <risa> no va a dormir el teacher porque tiene que revisar las tareas. <risa> Are you sure? How <risa> is Memories. Sorry, Ingrid. Entonces no las vamos a terminar temprano. Y los que no han terminado la tarea se van a dormir a las 12. Yeah. I'm, I'm kidding. It's not true. No, not teacher, yet. I finish. Ah, ok. Excellent. Excellent. Ok. Me está castigando, Tiche. No, I'm kidding. Es broma. I'm kidding. Solo le voy a quitar tres minutos. A las 10 y 3 terminamos y se queda Asalia hasta la... Asalia, sorry. Hasta las 12. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Hasta las... <laughs> ok. Ok. Good night, teacher. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> ok. Continue working. So, aprovechamos los tres minutos entonces. Teacher, can we say, can I say, I study since? Yeah, yeah, it's okay, you can say it. Since and from. Since from, but in past, right? Uh-huh. Yes, I studied. Mm, uh -huh. Hold on a second. Tell me uh -huh. the sentence, please. I, I, I study since, uh, for example, the, the most common you say, I say, I study from 1995, but in this case, can I say I study since 1995 to 1998, for example? Yeah, the difference is that when you say from, uh, you use to, right? And there is a, a time where you, ah, when you have finished the activity. When I, when I use since, I can't use to. Exactly. Ah, okay, okay.
Ok, uh, so I, I, I got four minutes from you. Ok, ya les quité cuatro minutos. I said three and I got four, four minutes. Ok, listen. Um, bueno, traten de terminar la actividad. Eh, ahí les voy a subir un foro de discusión en el cual van a, van a, van a agregar esa, ese, ese pequeño párrafo. Ok, así que no es opción no terminarlo para que lo agreguen al foro de discusión. Y quiero ver que todos lo suban, por supuesto, no solo unos dos o tres. Ok, yeah. So please. Ok, uh, do me that favor. And, well... It's time. Si ya terminaron sus tareas, se pueden ir a dormir tranquilos. Si están pendientes, hay que terminarlas. Okay? Please. All right. So good everybody. Night. Okay. Good night. Thank good you very night, much teacher. for connecting and see good you night. tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Sweet dreams. Asalia stays. Mm -hmm. Ok, dime a mí, Neta, salía, porque se me han quedado algunos acá. Teacher. Hello, Ingrid. Y con lo que me faltaba a mí de la, de la, del día 2. Vaya, solo voy a atender a Melanie y luego nos quedamos en WhatsApp, ¿ok? Ok, ok, thank you. Ok, ok, thank you. Ok, Melanie, so this space is for you. So, I don't okay. know if you have questions. Recommendations or <laughs> uh, eh, me está costando un poquito ahorita este con, con estas este using for things mm -hmm. okay un poquito. okay uh, eh, no 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 practice teacher entonces For time. I imagine. Uh -huh. Las podemos repasar un momentito para que recuerdes más o menos el uso de cada una. So you remember the use of it. Ok. Ok. Ok, veamos. Let's see. Let me share screens with you. Voy a compartir pantalla para que vayamos a donde está esa parte. So we go to that part. Ok, so uh, basically, uh, here, let me see. Acá están. Vaya. Yes. Aquí están algunos ejemplos. We have some examples, right? Um, so, basically, básicamente lo primero es, the first thing is, déjame buscar un lapicito por acá, let me look for a pencil, good, so, um, empezamos con for, right, so, for, cuando uso el for, I say a period of time, digo un periodo de tiempo, ok, for example, um, dime un lugar, en cuántas compañías has trabajado, how, in how many companies, oh. two, en la primera, ¿cuánto tiempo trabajaste? Um, 11? No, 12. 12 years or years. 12 months. 12 uh, years. What, what is the company? ¿Cuál es la compañía? MD. MD. De, entonces, el ejemplo usando for, te puede quedar, I worked in MD for 11, you said, right? 11, you said. 11, dijiste. 12. A 12, ok. Then you say, I work in MD for 12 years, por 12 años. Dice el periodo de tiempo con for, for 12 years, ok. Years. Yes. Um, ¿En qué compañía trabajas actualmente? In which company? In Agape. Agape. ¿Desde cuándo trabajas ahí? Mm. El año. Um, 16? 2016, ok, 2016. Muy bien. No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, 25. Ok. 2005, 2005. Yes. Ok, muy bien. Vaya, entonces cuando usamos el since, usamos un tiempo específico en el pasado. Es decir, en este caso, el 2005. Ok. Yes. Desde el 2005, por ejemplo, es un tiempo específico en el pasado. Podría decir en el ejemplo. I work in Agape, yo trabajo en Agape, I work in Agape since 2005, desde el 2005. Yes? Así que usamos el since con un tiempo específico en el pasado. En cambio, el for es para un periodo de tiempo, dos años, dos meses, tres meses, 
cinco años, ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok. El from y el to. Ok, ahora veamos from and to. Ok. Um, ¿Desde cuándo trabajaste en ID? Dijiste, me dijiste, ¿verdad? MD. MD, MD, sorry. ¿Desde cuándo hasta cuándo? ¿Desde qué año hasta qué año? Al uh, 96. Um, del, del 96 al... 2005. 2005, muy bien. Entonces, acá, para decir de, de qué fecha hasta qué fecha trabajaste, vamos a usar el from, ¿ok? Eso podría decir, I worked in MD, yo trabajé en MD, from, desde, from, uh, 1995, dijiste, ¿verdad? 1995, to, Six. Ah, 96, to, hasta qué fecha? To. 2005, 2004, yes. ajá, 2005, ajá, desde hasta, sería acá, desde hasta, dos fechas, ok, two dates, ya, yeah? mm. vamos bien hasta ahí, yes, ok, yes, yes. y luego tenemos el then, then, the meaning, the meaning in Spanish is luego, then luego. significa luego, y es para hablar acerca de un nuevo evento, después de que hayas hablado de un primer evento, ok, And we have the example. Tenemos el ejemplo. I worked in that company until 2011, for example. Yo trabajé en esa compañía hasta el 2011. Mm. Then, luego, y agregó el otro evento. I quit. Luego, yo renuncié. Then, I quit. Así que el then es para agregar un segundo evento. Ok, a second event. Ok. ¿Sí? Nuevo evento es ese. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah. uh -huh. para agregar un nuevo evento, el nuevo evento sería I quit. Renuncié. Okay. Ajá, I quit. Y luego renuncié. Primero digo un evento y luego digo then y agrego el segundo evento. Usando then okay. para conectar los okay. dos eventos, ¿ok? Y okay. then we have until. Tenemos until. Hasta. Until significa hasta, ¿ok? Hasta significa o marca o resalta el final de una actividad o de un periodo de tiempo. En este caso, ¿hasta cuándo trabajaste en MD? 2005, ¿right? 2005. Ah, entonces aquí podrías decir fácilmente, I work in MD until 2005, hasta el 2005. Final del periodo de tiempo. End of the period of time, ¿ok? Oh, bien. Así que ese es el uso de for, since, from and to van juntos y de, en medio del from y el to, se usa un tiempo específico, ¿ok? Yes, yes, yes. Sí, hoy sí. Then para agregar un nuevo evento. Y until mm -hmm. para marcar el fin de una actividad o de un periodo de tiempo, ¿ok? Un periodo, ok. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, basically that. Básicamente eso es, esa es la manera de cómo se usan. It's clear, teacher. Ok, nice. It's good to know. So, I don't know if you have, do you have any other question? No, teacher. No. Clear. No. Okay, perfect then. So if you have no more questions, thank you very much for connecting. And now you can say good night. Ahora sí puedes decir good night. Good night, teacher. You see tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, okay. teacher. Okay, my pleasure. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Okay, good night. Bye.